Welcome to my channel. This is Sam, and I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2. So I have like uh, done all my video settings to ultra and ultra performance for DLSS. That's why my FPS is going low. And I did not find any fix for that. Maybe. What the fuck is going on, man? are you? Are you even aware of the price on my head? The pressures I'm under? If you'd only talk to me, I could help. I want to help you, Dutch, but there's this wall. You can help by leaving me alone so I can <coughs> actually think for once. You're a bastard. Hey, Arthur. Dutch What's going on? Island. Miss O'Shea. Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Hey, Abigail. What the hell happened in Valentine with you Hello. and John? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. So, how are you liking life as a lawman? What are we doing, Dutch? Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. Uh, I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly and helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Faith, Arthur. Maybe I will do some chores around here. Okay. Well, I'm glad you love you. How are you? Then go for that H. I think that's Jose waiting for me. Laugh at me for reading this stuff. Of course we do. But after I do this, do you? Sometimes. What is it about this nonsense? Still not quite sure why you're dressed as a lawman. <coughs> I just see it. Dutch seems to have taken a shine to Mary Beth. He does. You know how that goes. This perspective is good. So where is Jose's mission? One mission is here. <coughs> but okay, we go for this one then. Whatever this is. Oh I have a chord and maybe a wood kitting chord. Oh no. To pick up this sax, man.
Yeah, I'm going to go on the other. to pick that up. Molly. Oh. Hello. Oh. Now I'm mixed up with you. I've lost my mind, Mr. Morgan. Lost it entirely. Nice to see you too, Reverend. I've lost it. I used to be an intellectual. Now I'm just a fool. Well, I've always been happy as a fool. <laughs> you all just laugh at me. I know you do. Whatever, man. <laughs> He's just pissed off. He's always pissed off. Come on, man, I just pressed it. Oh. So get to work, all of you. We can do well and fine here for a while. They will not think we came this way. So get to work. We still need money. Lots of money. Get to work. This guy is waiting for fishing mission I think. We'll do fishing, but afterwards. First I will do these two missions. Where was that? Oh yeah, found it. After this, we do the wood cutting chore, and then you know you want to try sometime drinking happiness. Try happiness, just just a little. <laughs> Uncle Jose. I got these for you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Williamson. I got all the fish you fools is about to eat. <laughs> Not English is good. <laughs> this guy loves the perimeter. Sometimes he changes with Jose and Uncle Jose doesn't like oh I already placed one here. Come on man. Oh my bad I thought maybe I will run outside the camp. But this is not so speed. What's her? Hello, Miss O'Shea. Arthur. Hi there. Hello, Abigail. There he is. Woo, Arthur! <laughs> He's a drunk one. Come on, let's do it fast. Chop, chop, chop.
And this is five down. One to go. Last one, and then we go for the pushing. Done for the shows. Done with the shows. Oh, fish kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> so we'll do this mission first, then go for the Jose's mission. All right then. Let's go rob some fools. I lost the rest. I'm out of bed these crazies before. <laughs> I'm not taking You've been drinking again? No. Any more chances? Well, yes, but no, that's not how I'm I might have met them. I think some of them harangued yes. me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamont. That was the That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... A glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry, Sorry, you well, I guess their gold still shining. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. in this place, huh? Feels yeah, like man. we're close. It's a run-down old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. 
If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, you're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. Of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. What was that? Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow at least. What the... Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bell. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. You bring the sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get him covered. There. See anything? No. Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. I see one, two. There's a third guy in here. Come on, what the hell? Alright, 
Hey, you might want to look over to the right. Yes, go over there. Okay, there are four more guys left. supposed to do here now. What the hell is that?
I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. You gonna make a call? Going in, kid. Give them both barrels a charm. Wouldn't try anything less. And so may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merit <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be, my people. Come on, kid. Now, uh, are you? Uh, have you? Will you? My brother? Praise be. Huh? <laughs> Praise be! I wish you might get down, boy. Hey, Praise be, my people. Praise be. I said, get out of here. Uh, Praise be. Or uh, uh, a great miracle shall strike you down, my family. Get out of here, you darkness! <laughs> Thank you. 
their gun. Check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yep. We don't have time to move. some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lying bastards! <laughs> I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. We did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's allowed let the AI do the don't rest. worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. Guess my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... And not but nothing. I mean, Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Man, I should have marked that place. This is that place. I'll just add a marker so that I can go back and do the shit holes and I get a chance. Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Got a new rifle, huh? Bolt action. Ooh. Somebody's coming this way. Mm. 
Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <clears throat> Stuff looked kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fat. Let me bring you. To this part. Mm, the great way, man. Let's do it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think that good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past them. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of you, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> OK, OK. Well, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. See it is ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh, relax. I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? 
I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drop the stuff into Rose, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. And this right. starts the Next up, new Rose fire into the rivalry again. Here the Gray is on the great place. Uh, I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. Wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. Hey. That don't surprise me. Yeah. All right. can go like this but there's a rail line between across it over here i think there's a uh, crossing point over here otherwise i have to go to something else okay just follow this could get ugly you and dutch already have that thing going on in town this is the sheriff yeah mr gray that's it now we're Inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <sighs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dresser. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. <sighs> Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. <laughs> Put this hat on. <clears throat> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> I broke poor mammy's heart. There, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Come on, move. Sala India me hota hai ye sab. Baar bhi game me bhi ho raha hai ye dekho. Main kuch jaane ki koshish kar raha tha. Ye sala train aake ruk gaya. चक्कर में सला कैसे कैसे चलाना पड़ा मुझे 
Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. him don't madden him he's turned idiot <laughs> killed our mother but it weren't his fault how'd you boys how'd you boys like a couple of bucks i bet you would one for each of you we're in the new trade of advertising which is an american art form about ensuring people buy the correct things i don't know one more dollar says give us half an hour what harm can we do in half an hour <laughs> go along now enjoy the money Come along, Fenton. Just hand out the liquor. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Milton. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny. My boy can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free! Yeah. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them, so hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. <laughs> All of it. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one business. A gift.
Guys, going to the kill the end of all. Over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Pull off the road here. All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertise. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now... Let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, this guy will not We'll make an actor of you yet? <laughs> Come on, the live speak okay. to Dutch. I don't know. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. 
Now you can meet up with them or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something that happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. So, this is it for now. I'm back with more exciting video. I hope you guys liked it like it sorry so this is it for now i told you guys that i will go fishing uh i don't think that guy is up for fishing at night so we'll try that next morning i don't have any bullets i need to go back to my evening are you okay reverend hey if you could give me some leather working tools I can make some rugs and blankets out of these hides you're bringing in. Me and Mary Beth have been so worried about you. I'll keep my eye out for some good material. That's sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Hmm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can Let do. Let me show you guys. You. I have donated the most. And this woman just comes out of nowhere and says I have not donated for a while. I will show you the record, bitch. You're beginning to creep me out, Arthur. Let me open the laser. Okay, I have got a 200 there, 39 dollar there, I don't get 200 dollars. Okay, I need something that is, yeah. This one I will buy. And Arthur wants a map, okay? So I will donate. Uh, Then I will do that map thing. Let me do that first. Get out of here! The box is full of money, man. She says box doesn't have money. Let me give like uh, 162. We want to get $390, not 200 
only one improve the rest of the friends and camp you need 300 for that i don't have 300 right now so i will just run at 34 dollars and uh, sorry uh, keep the hundred for me as only fifty dollars in the box. I hope that woman will be not talking after this. I need to be stuck on my bullets. I have no bullets. So bye guys and good day, see you soon and stay tuned for more.